What's the nature of the reality? The nature of reality is a topic that has captivated the minds of philosophers and thinkers throughout history. Our mission is to create the simplest computer, something so intuitive that you don't need to learn how to use it. In the world of technology, innovation is key, and Rabbit's latest creation, the Rabbit R1, is a testament to this. The computer we're building, which we call a companion, should be able to talk to, understand, and more importantly, get things done for you. The future of human-machine interfaces should be more intuitive. The R1, a $199 consumer device, is a game changer in how we interact with technology. This device, powered by a natural language operating system, aims to make app interactions obsolete, offering a new way to manage our digital lives. Want to get a ride to the office? There's an app for that. Want to buy groceries? There's another app for that. Each time you want to do something, you fumble through multiple pages and folders to find the app you want to use. And there are always endless buttons that you need to click. Add to the cart, go to the next page, check the boxes, and jumping back and forth, and so on. The smartphone was supposed to be intuitive, but with hundreds of apps on your phone today that don't work together, it no longer is. If you look at the top of ranking apps on app stores today, you'll find that most of them focus on entertainment. Our smartphones has become the best device to kill time instead of saving them. It's just harder for them to do things. The Rabbit R1 is built around the company's large action model, an AI foundation that trains rabbits to learn and replicate how a user interacts with their typical apps and web experiences. These applications share something in common, the interface. They all have a user interface. So, at a philosophical level, if we can make an AI trigger actions on any kind of interface, just like a human would, we will solve the problem. This insight led us to create the large action model, or LAM, as we call it. It is a new foundational model that understands and executes human intentions on computers, driven by our research in neural symbolic systems. With a large action model, we fundamentally find a solution to the challenges that apps, APIs, or agents face. We solve it with interfaces. LAM can learn any interfaces from any software, regardless of which platform they're running on. In short, the large language model understands what you say, but the large action model gets things done. We use LAM to bring AI from words to action. One of the most striking features of the R1 is its focus on security and privacy. Unlike many smart devices that are always listening, the R1 requires intentional interaction from the user. The device's microphone, mainly used for voice commands, only activates when the side-mounted push-to-talk button is pressed. I want to emphasize our commitment to privacy. The way we design the infrastructure for apps that we interact with we don't create fake users or spam users. We don't hack their infrastructures. And of course, we do not store any of your third-party credentials. Instead, we redirect you to their login page. We never save your username and password, and we don't track your data. The authentication happens on the respective apps. Now I'm logging with Spotify. RabbitOS recognized that Spotify has been authenticated on my device. Before this presentation, I pre-authenticated some other apps like Uber and DoorDash. Just choose your preferred services and log in through them to get authenticated on your device. It's pocket-sized with a rotating Rabbit Eye camera, a 2.88-inch touchscreen display, a scroll wheel for navigating the OS and a USB-C port for charging. The Rabbit R1 represents a significant shift in how we interact with technology. It's not just a digital assistant, it's a new category of device that simplifies voice-based interactions. R1 is equipped with everything you need to interact with you and perceive your surroundings. It comes with a touchscreen, a push-to-talk button, and an analog scroll wheel, a microphone and speakers, 
and a computer vision enabled 360 degree rotational camera we call the Rabbit Eye. It is Bluetooth and Wi Fi capable and it has the same card slots that supports global 4G LTE network. And now, let's see how it works. I can ask the Rabbit for anything, just like if I'm using ChatGPT. The difference though is the speed. With Rabbit OS, I get a response 10 times faster than most of the voice AI projects. Rabbit answers my questions within 500 milliseconds. With the push to talk button, you don't need to say anything to wake it up. Just press and hold the button and talk like a walkie talkie. Now, let's give it a shot. What's the nature of the reality? The R1 weighs about 115 grams, roughly the size of a stack of post-it notes, and is powered by a MediaTek Helio P35 processor with four gigabytes of memory. While these specs don't rival the latest smartphones, the R1's strength lies in its cloud-based processing, offering a unique app-free experience. The R1's operating system, Rabbit OS, is designed to ease human-machine interaction. It observes how humans interact with various user interfaces and then mimics these processes. This allows RabbitOS to translate natural language requests into actions across a wide range of apps with different interfaces. For example, if I want to plan a trip to London, I can just describe what I wish in full to R1. I want to take my family to London. It's going to be two of us and a child of age 12. We're thinking of January 30th to February 5th. Can you plan the entire trip for me? We like cheap non-stop flights, grouped seats, a cool SUV, and a nice hotel that has Wi-Fi. Exploring ticketing options to make your trip a reality. For your trip, I found various flight options, a range of hotels to choose from, and car rentals available. Please confirm each option individually for further details and booking. So it's all been planned out. I just confirm, 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 and that's it. Could you come up with a schedule for fun things to do while I'm over there? On it. I have prepared a detailed travel plan for your trip. In summary, you will be exploring London's iconic landmarks, visiting museums, enjoying delicious meals at local restaurants, and experiencing the vibrant atmosphere of different neighborhoods. Navigation details are also prepared, and I can help you book tickets for any events you'd like to attend. R1 just planned the entire trip for me, that's awesome. The Rabbit R1 is a glimpse into the future of human device interaction. With its innovative design, focus on privacy, and unique operating system, the R1 could very well change the way we think about and use our gadgets.